you didn't have to attract desire. Either it was in the woman who aroused it or it didn't exist. Either it was there at first glance, or else it had never been. In love there are no vacations. No such thing. Love has to be lived fully, with its boredom and all that. That she had so completely recovered, her sanity was a source of sadness to her. One should never be cured of one's passion. He says he's lonely, horribly lonely because of this love he feels for her. She says she's lonely too. She doesn't say why. I believe that always, or almost always, in all childhoods and in all the lives that follow them, the mother represents madness. Our mothers always remain the strangest, craziest people we've ever met. It's not that you have to achieve anything, it's that you have to get away from where you are. We're in the vanguard of an aimless battle, a battle without arms or bloodshed or glory, we're in the vanguard of waiting. When the past is recaptured by the imagination, breath is put back into life. The house a woman creates is a utopia. She can't help it, can't help trying to interest her nearest and dearest. Not in happiness itself but in the search for it. I've never written, though I thought I wrote, never loved, though I thought I loved, never done anything but wait outside the closed door. I have never waited for anything, the way I've waited for today, when nothing will happen. I know it's not clothes that make women beautiful or otherwise, nor beauty care, nor expensive creams, nor the distinction of costliness of their finery. I know the problem lies elsewhere. I don't know where. I only know it isn't where women think. Fidelity, enforced and unto death, is the price you pay for the kind of love you never want to give up, for someone you want to hold forever, tighter and tighter, whether he's close or far away, someone who becomes dearer to you the more you've sacrificed for his sake. We tell each other things, that have no relation to the afternoon's events or the coming night. But that relate to God, to his absence that is so present like the breasts of the young girl, so young before the immensity of what is to come. Alcohol doesn't console, it doesn't fill up anyone's psychological gaps, all it replaces is the lack of God. It doesn't comfort man. On the contrary, it encourages him in his folly, it transports him to the supreme regions, where he is master of his own destiny. One does not find solitude, one creates it. Solitude is created alone. I have created it. Because I decided that here was where I should be alone, 
that I would be alone to write books. It happened this way. I was alone in this house. I shut myself in, of course, I was afraid. And then I began to love it. This house became the house of writing. My books come from this house. From this light as well, and from the garden. From the light reflecting off the pond. It has taken me 20 years to write what I just said.